How many W's in the Welsh town name Little and Fair L L You have to see this place. I don't know where they find the women, but they do this thing where they literally share. A, hang on, I got a call coming in. Okay. Hello, this is moderator. Yeah, hey Anthony, just a uh, pronunciation query. Oh, that sounds so interesting, David. Uh, unfortunately, I am snowed under with work, so. Snowed under. You sure about that? Yeah, I don't know what it's like uh, down there, but uh, up here it is a madhouse, so... Anthony, you do realise you're three metres away from me. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's so interesting, David. Oh, so interesting. If only it went breaking up, breaking up, breaking up, breaking up. I'm David M. Green, and this is 31 Questions. Welcome to 31 Questions, the game show that's taking community television to strange new places. Shouldn't be there. Some say there's a little bit of pixie dust in the air. Others say that's asbestos. I say that's for the courts to decide. Hello, I'm David M. Green. Thanks for joining me. Before we meet tonight's contestants, allow me to introduce our wonderful scorekeeper, Sophie Loughran. Hey, David. You are looking animalistic tonight. I feel like an animal, Sophie. <laughs> You're looking very nice. Thank you. What is that? Velvet? Velvet. It's textured. What did you do today? Uh, to be honest, I went to university. I'm a uni student, so I learnt things, I guess. What's <laughs> the most important thing you learnt today? Smile when the camera's on. There you go. <laughs> and also a hearty staple on the show, our loaf of bread, if you will. I believe he's multi-grain, the, the official 31 Questions moderator, Anthony McCormack. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me, David. Now, Anthony, I'm an idiot. I keep forgetting what you do here on the show. Could you please explain it for the folks at home? Uh, I don't actually belong on this show, David. I got lost on the way to the Larry King set. <laughs> But as long as I'm here, I might as well uh, look after the rules, make sure everyone's playing within, you know, the, the, the rules of the game, that, that kind of thing. Moderate. <laughs> Moderate. Fantastic. <laughs> Anthony, who are tonight's contestants? Our first contestant is a landscape architect. Inspired in part by a Hollywood blockbuster, she set about the construction of a garden that would work as a giant spiritual capacitor, channeling all the world's evil and ending life everywhere as we know it. And we wish her well in her endeavor. <laughs> Please welcome Naomi. Well, that's interesting. How'd you get into that? <laughs> I'm not sure how to answer that. Um, what, yeah, do you, um, what do you actually do? Don't worry about him. Um, well, don't actually, don't I, uh, encourage him, for God's sake. <laughs> um, actually, I produce a show on Channel 31. You don't say. Yeah. What's the name of the show? <laughs> uh, no Limits. So look that up on the internet. Not now. Wait 25 minutes or so. <laughs> Anthony, who's the other guy? David, our second contestant tonight is Charles. <laughs> is renting does not have garden. Charles, welcome to the show. Yeah, good to be here, man. Thanks. Yeah. What, what do you do with yourself? Uh, I'm a hydraulic hose fitter. A what? A hydraulic hose fitter. Hose fitter. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said hearse fitter. Yeah, no, yeah, I put hydraulics in the hearse and <laughs> the coffin. <laughs> and the... <laughs> well, that's probably how Snoop Dogg would want to go, really. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming. Best of luck. Good luck to you too, Naomi. Let's have a quick test of the buzzers before we do anything else. You want to just tap that, Naomi, for us? Fantastic, in working on it, Charles. How about that? That surprises me every single time. Okay, let's ask 31 questions. Just for something different, I thought we'd start tonight's show with the general knowledge round. It's a groundbreaking concept, but bear with me while I walk you through it. I'll ask some questions about things. The, contestants, the contestant who buzzes in first with a correct answer will get one point. 
Answer incorrect and you lose a point. Hey, it's all working. All right, let's get into it. What is the Sydney equivalent of the Melways Street directory? Naomi? Sidways. Sidways. That's correct. Uh, I'm, I'm more of a compass man myself. Hey, Anthony, what do you reckon they call it in Turkey? Well, I don't know, David. What do they call the Turkish equivalent of a Sid or Mel way? Kurds and way. <laughs> no? I was way impressed by that joke, <laughs> David. Name one character other than Dame Edna Everidge that Barry Humphrey still performs on stage. Ooh. You're too late, but yep, too late. what were you going to say? The uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> A big, big nod. The Wizard, the Wizard. Someone's got his hand up. Les Yeah, there you go. Uh, Sandy Stone as well. Possibly others. I've never seen him. I'd like to before he dies. <laughs> oh, I'm genuine. He's a very talented Australian. <laughs> Which one of these martial arts is an official Olympic sport? Karate, Kung Fu or Taekwondo? <laughs> Naomi? Taekwondo. Correct. <laughs> do you... Uh, do you... Uh, yeah, I've played Taekwondo. <laughs> really? Yeah. Could you hurt us? Um, I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to insist we give Naomi 20 bonus points. <laughs> <laughs> On a keyboard, if you hold down shift and press the number 5, what symbol will you type? Charles? Dollar symbol? <sighs> no. Have a guess. Uh, <gasps> um, yeah, Nothing? All right. Yeah, no, sorry. Anyone? Percentage? Anyone have an iPad? App? What do you got? Percentage, Percentage sign. <laughs> well done. <laughs> you are 100% correct. Or uh, <laughs> a, a thousand and five, if you forgot to, forgot to press shift. <laughs> Diamonds are composed of which element? <laughs> Naomi? Uh, <laughs> uh, coal. That's not an element? You no, can try that. You know, Charles? <laughs> Carbon. Carbon's correct. You don't, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. No points, it was just out of habit. <laughs> In the TV series 30 Rock, what does the rock refer to? Rockefeller Plaza. In the TV series Third Rock from the Sun, what does that rock in the title refer to? Naomi? Uh, that's the Earth. I believe it's uh, Rockefeller Plaza. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is the Earth. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but right now, it's time for Word on the Street, where we go out to the streets disguised as ordinary lampposts and road signs to get the latest gossip from unsuspecting members of the public. We'll show our contestants a short clip of some strangers talking about something. All contestants have to do is tell me what that something is. Guess right, I'll give you five points. There's no penalty if you guess wrong. Remember, don't buzz in until the clip is finished, please. What are these people talking about? Kind of showing off. Going too fast, probably impatient. Seat right back down, playing really loud music. Pimped up cars. Doing burnouts. Dangerous, very quick. Um, seeking. Probably douchebags. Actually, I'm assuming. No, no assumption there. They are douchebags. Oh, Charles, what do you got? Hoons. Hoons? Is it hoons? Let's have a look. Hoon drivers. Well done. You're not a hoon, are you? Nah. Drive around in a. Ride a motorbike. Purse. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You, they can both beat us up. We really got to uh, move on here so I can get the hell out of here. Hey, let's have another one. Play another one, Sam, or whoever's up there. They can be either very loud or they can just be, they kind of fly under the radar and be very unnoticeable. Kind of fluffy, I suppose, big, sticky. Um, of course, they're necessary for some people. Maybe if they're sick. Um, and for others, it's just a funny thing. Uh, I have never worn one in a serious context, but um, as a joke, I love wearing them, yeah. Charles? Jockstrap. Jockstrap. What is the answer? Wigs. Wigs. <laughs> Thanks, Rihanna. She's, uh, she's our producer. I think there's just time for one more. 
light brown hair. Sort of messy, uh, hazily greeny eyes. Green t-shirt, kind of matches your eyes maybe. Not really, they're more blue, aren't they? <laughs> Decent amount of chest hair. Um, kind of slim, tall. Casual pants, casual look. Yes, he's hilarious and on television. Are you actually on television? All around very nice person. Charles? You? I don't know. David M. Green. <laughs> Just for the record, I'm, I'm, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Just before we take a break, let's get a quick score check from Sophie. Recovering from some seriously bad negative scores. In the blue corner, Charles is up on seven and Naomi on three. Somehow the 20 bonus points you received didn't, didn't get included. <laughs> Barring some unforeseen event, we'll be right back with more 31 questions. Welcome back to 31 Questions, the TV game show that says there's no business like show business. Although one could argue that snow business is pretty similar. No? All right. I'm David M. Green. Uh, let's have a reminder of the scores. We have uh, Charles out in front on seven and Naomi's on three. David, can I say I am a huge fan of this show business. You get everything for free. It's suits, food, women. It's just never-ending free stuff. It's not free for me, you sponge. It's me and Simon bankrolling this whole venture. We're five Gs in the hole. Do you have any idea what the budget's looking like? These things aren't free, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the good news is I do know exactly what the budget's looking like because I prepared an infographic of the budget. If we can go to that now. <laughs> I like it because it's a cheap gag. But right now, it's time for a segment called When Is It? Just like a chocolate milkshake, only there's no chocolate or milk, it's not shaken, and there's questions about history. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll go through some events that occurred within a specific year from Earth's history. Contestants need to tell me the year I'm talking about. It gets easier as I go on, and by the end, I'm practically giving it away. So if you get in early, you get more points. Guess wrong, you're out. All the clues go to the other man or woman. Here we go. In this year, 18% of Australians reported having cash flow problems. That includes me. Australian gold mining giant Sons of Gualia was delisted from the stock exchange. Pluto was dumped from the official list of planets. Giving workers the boot became a whole lot easier for Australian employers with the introduction of work choices. Naomi? I just a guess 2004. No, not quite right. Uh, have a guess. 2003? No. Anyone? Five? No? 2006. There you go. 2006. <laughs> I don't know how that got through the filter. <laughs> it was too hard. All right, let's do it again properly. In this year, the life expectancy of the average American was 65.9 years. Warner Brothers sent Daffy Duck to war in the cartoon Daffy Dra Draft E Daffy. John Curtin suffered a fatal heart attack, becoming the second Australian Prime Minister to die in office. Germany's First Lady Eva Braun committed suicide alongside her husband Adolf Hitler. To be clear, Hitler killed himself because he had just lost World War II. This was the yep, year that noticed. World War II ended. <laughs> no one? Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Get the books, guys. <laughs> All right. When is it? Tony Abbott considers swimming the English Channel to raise money for Jesus. <laughs> the first Winter Olympic, the first Winter Youth Olympics are held in Austria. The Queen's Diamond Jubilee marks the 60th anniversary of her taking the throne. And I thought my dad took a long time. <laughs> Thank you, Rove. And I believe we actually have some footage of the throne in question, if we could. <laughs> a recent released apocalyptic movie was set in this year. Despite riots over the pink logo, the Summer Olympics are successfully held in London, I assume. <laughs> oh my God, somebody save me. 2012. Yes. <laughs> 
using surplus props from the SBS television game show Letters and Numbers, we bring you Letters and Letters. Sophie's going to help me out with this segment. Thank God. So tonight's leading contestant, which is Charles, you will be selecting uh, six letters, your choice of consonants or vowels. What you'll do, you'll say consonant or vowel, Sophie will put them up on the board, after which you and your other contestant, uh, which is Naomi, <laughs> you'll have 15 seconds to uh, write down the longest word you can. So uh, whoever has the longest word using those six letters gets five points. So take it away, Charles. Uh, consonant. Q. Consonant. Z. No. N. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well done. Consonant. Q. Vowel. <laughs> Q. <laughs> Another vowel. <laughs> P. Vowel. <laughs> Q. <laughs> okay, so 15 seconds, off you go. I'm, I'm just going to ask, can we actually... I can't see the letters. Thank you. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, probably not, but yeah. Well, time's up. Uh, I am uh, going to have to ask you what you came up with. Uh, I'll start with you, Charles, seeing as uh, you were uh, leading. Uh, what do you got? Quick, 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 per, no, quick, quick, per. <laughs> and uh, do you have a definition? Yeah, um, quick, <laughs> quick, quick. You don't have it. You don't have a definition. Also, I think you doubled up on some of the letters. I can't allow that. Oh. Naomi, what do you got? Um, I'm going to say I've got quick, per, quick, no, quick. What does that mean? Uh, that, uh, it's Welsh, I'm going to say. Um, a large body of water is what that means. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was pretty disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and now for a real segment. We like to call, may the quote be with you, because that's the name of the segment. It's where Sophie, Anthony and I will be quoting a few scenes from well-known motion pictures. If you can name the film, I'll give you five points. No penalty if you guess wrong. You can play along at home as well. How fast can you work this out? I don't know. Write us in. Entertain us, Sophie. <laughs> as far as boyfriends go, Polly Bleeker is totally boss. Ooh. Naomi? Uh, Juno. Is it Juno, Sophie? It's Juno. I think it's a crime that uh, Jason Bateman and Michael Sarah were in a movie together and not in a scene together. Am I right? No? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, sir, take it away. I've lost my stutter. Scon. I can speak. <laughs> Ooh, Charles. The King's speech? I don't think so. Oh, well. So, do you want to continue quoting the fil film from there? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ha 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 ha! I don't think that's going to help you. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. No? Yeah. Anyone in the audience? No one? What is it, Anthony? It is a fish called Wanda, David. Oh! oh. Wow. Ow. Totally knew that. <laughs> Hit my head on the TV. Fish called Wanda. Good movie. Pick it up at your local um, internet. <laughs> <laughs> and now I got one. And this is going to throw the hell out of my voice. Oh, actually, um, Mr. Editor, can we have this in black and white? Thank you. Don't worry about me, Geddes. Don't worry about me. I'm Charles Foster Kane. I'm no cheap, crooked politician trying to save himself from the consequences of his crimes. Is it Citizen Kane? It is Citizen Kane. <laughs> that Orson Welles, oh man, rips the hell out of my vocal cords. And right now it's time for the group scene. 31 questions cast, unite. What can I get you, boys? You're hungry, you're thirsty, or you're just driving through? Maybe you'd like a beer or something a little harder? You know, we happen to make the state's best pepper steak. No, thank you, ma'am. We might be sucking back a few beers later on, though. We'll be here all night. You see, we're the band. Oh, you are? Oh, gee, that's nice. Hey, Bob, 
This is the band. Right on. Uh, what kind of music do you usually have here? Oh, we got both kinds. We got country and western. <laughs> Naomi. Please, brothers. Hey, she's right. <laughs> Ah, uh, one of my favourite movies. This is 31 Questions. We'll be right back with the final round of tonight's fabulous prize. Welcome back to 31 Questions, the greatest TV game show on this station in this time slot. I'm David M. Green. <laughs> and like a paranoid horticulturalist, time is our enemy. No? All right. So let's play 31 Questions. Going into the final round of the show, what are the scores, Sophie Loughran? David, Naomi has stormed out in front with 18. Sorry, Charles, just down on seven. Well, Naomi, there you go. You finally That's found a practical like... use for cinema. <laughs> for, for a lot of film knowledge, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, you are a producer, actually. So it makes sense. Cheating. Anthony? I would like to break from the game for a second to talk about something very special. It's National Teenagers Awareness Week where we uh, stop and consider the poor teenagers. And I'm looking at Charles's score, and I think it needs to be a teenage score. So we're going to put a one in front of that. How old are you, Charles? 21. Right. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> so instead of seven, he now goes to 17. It is going to make the game closer, but we just have to think of the teenagers. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Best of luck. How about this audience? What a great audience. And didn't last week's audience suck? <laughs> <laughs> yes, super hyperspace lightning round time. 62 seconds of rapid fire questions. One point for a correct answer. One point off if you're wrong. Whoever has the most points at the end of this round is tonight's champion. And as Orson Welles once said, hello, I'm Orson Welles. <laughs> but I'm rambling. Uh, let's have the clock. <laughs> How about that? Okay. <laughs> Your time started a few seconds ago. What is the name? What is the name of the pilot episode of South Park? Pilot. Charles? Pilot. Uh, no. Uh, Cartman gets an anal probe. Which city stock market is measured on the index called the FTSE? Charles? Japan? No. No, London. What is the first name of the current Red Wiggle? <laughs> Murray. Which did the English colonise first, Australia or New Zealand? Charles? Australia. Correct. Who won the 2012 Super Bowl? New York Giants. Uh, I didn't know that either. In the game Battleship, how many hits does it take to sink the submarine? Charles? Two. Three is the answer to that. What does PDF stand for? No? Portable document format. I didn't know that. Who writes this? Oh, wait, I did. Uh, true, or false, <laughs> disco, true or false, discombobulate is a real word. Naomi? True. Yes, it is. True or false, West Sputum Periwinkle is a real word. False. <laughs> Charles? Uh, that's right. No, of course it isn't. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the Super Hype Space Lightning Round. Well, Anthony, while uh, Sophie sends that off to NASA for final tabulation, what did you think of tonight's contestants? Tonight's contestants, David, were so attractive. I just still can't get over it. <laughs> not, not that aspect. I mean, right. I mean how they played. <laughs> yep, I'm family, sorry. Family show? Yep, yep. No, they were, they were very attractive in their rule keeping. <laughs> Sophie, who was tonight's winner? David, word in from Houston. Naomi is the winner on 19, Charles on 16. Congratulations, Naomi. Ooh. Very close. Naomi, well done. Thank you. What's your secret? Like or no. <laughs> well, as long as it's not cheating, uh, yeah. that's, that should be fine. So thanks very much. And Charles, yeah. I'm sorry. No, that's cool. Naomi, you have a prize. Anthony? Tell them what she's won! Mmm, what's cooking, good looking? Why, it's David's face! This incredible one-piece apron is a fashion must-have for culinary hedonists. Let all the boiling <laughs> hot gristles splash harmlessly on the old green mug while you remain relatively burn-free. Throw me a prawn, Sophie. Tongs not included. 
<laughs> well, uh, you do much cooking? Well, a little bit. That'll come in handy. You do aut autopsies? <laughs> Very versatile. <laughs> I don't want to ask any more questions. Enjoy that. Thanks again. Hey, everyone, please thank tonight's contestants. <laughs> and thank you very much to Anthony McCormack, Sophie Lochran. They do a great job. I couldn't do it without them. Well, I probably could, but thank them anyway. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you for watching so much. Please check us out on, uh, on, on Facebook and Twitter, 31 Questions. You know, they say always end on a high, so... I'm David M. Green. Good night! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.